button came in muted, but she must have bypassed that. <laughs> All right, Ted, I think we're ready to start. Take it away. Okay, welcome to the IAACE Award Show via Zoom. First, I want to thank everyone who nominated this year and give all nominees a bravo because the awards committee had a hard time deciding who to, who to choose this year. We had 20 nominees for all the categories. Every submission is, worth, <clears throat> is worthy of an award. Thank you to each nominator for taking your time and talent to submit your nominations. Bravo to all the nominees. Each year, this award ceremony is usually part of our annual conference. The pandemic had, had different plans for us. We want to thank everyone for being willing to take the time today and give the winners the recognition they deserve. First, each year, we recognize the adult, ed, <coughs> adult education retirees from across the state for their years of service to our field and our students. Thank you for your service for Brenda Owen and Cindy Pike. Um, we know that Brenda was unable to make it to the Zoom today, but we'd like to give Cindy an opportunity to speak if she would like. Uh, I'm not sh too used to Zoom, so I've, this is actually my first time I've ever been on Zoom. Um, I actually was with uh, Adult Ed with Goals Academy for nine years, and um, to me it was the very best way in my 39 years of teaching. So I really appreciate um, all of my staff that I've worked with, uh, the coordinators and my directors that I've had in the last two years, or nine years, I'm sorry, my two directors I've had three. Um, but for anyone uh, wanting to get into adult education, I say 100, 1,000% go for it because it's very worthwhile. You're muted, Ted. Okay, I. Well, I. Did I'm, you hear me? <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear me, Jennifer, at all? Yes, I heard you. Uh, Congratulations on your retirement, and thank you for being with us today. And best wishes on your, the rest of your journey. We appreciate all you've done for adult education. <clears throat> the Business and Industry Partnership Award, the nominees can be a person or organization. The award recognizes those that make a contribution to the field of adult education. Perhaps that is a business that goes up and beyond for monetary support or a person organization business that collaborates with your organization on programming <clears throat> that allow your organization to exceed expectations of your adult learners or over performance on measurements. Presenting this award is Michelle Ellis from Turning Point Education Center. Michelle, take it away. Good morning. It is my pleasure to announce that the Business Partner of the Year Award goes to Jeremy and Jessica Wagler of Wagler Competition. They are located in Green and Davies County. Here with me are Jeremy and Jessica and the Executive Director of Open Arms, Martin Corey. Jeremy and Jessica have truly gone above and beyond to make a difference in the community and the lives of our students with their continued effort of training, mentoring, and teaching adults to better themselves. We are able to provide welding CNC and will soon be able to provide CDL by partnering with Wagler. We are in the process of putting a new building up as well. We have been able to successfully help 13 families this year get off of public assistance. We truly want to thank you and I am honored, and I know Marty is honored, to present this award to Jeremy and Jessica Wagler. Congratulations, Jeremy and Jessica Wagler with Wagler Competition. We appreciate your collaboration with adult education. <clears throat> Our next award is Outstanding Volunteer or Tutor. This nominee does not have to be a member of the IAACE, but must have at least one year of volunteering in adult education or literacy. This nominee has shown outstanding dedication and commitment to adult education <clears throat> and literacy in the state of Indiana. They have a strong work ethic and community building skills. They communicate effectively and have a superior listening skills. 
their friendliness and approachability assist you, your organization, your learners to go above and beyond. And I, forgive me if I say this name wrong, presenting this award is Sakara Agrawal from Indy Reads. Sakara, please share with us. Okay, it is my pleasure to announce that the Outstanding Volunteer Tutor Award goes to Jennifer Anderson. Please join me on camera, Jenny. So Jenny um, volunteers for Indie Reads, and we count on our dedicated tutors to help students reach their reading, education, and career goals. Jenny um, volunteers twice a week. Most of our volunteers only um, volunteer once a week, so that alone shows her dedication to the program and to our students. She can be counted on to work with any student, no matter their educational level or background. She is equally patient and open-minded with all students that walk through our doors. She always knows what to do. She doesn't need any um, guidance. She just, she just knows exactly what to do. And um, she, has attended, she has attended a training where only five out of 51 of our tutors attended. So that again shows her dedication to our, our students. Jenny, would you like to say a few words? Sure. I just want to say thank you so much. Uh, tutoring with Indie Reads has been a very enriching experience and doing so has opened up my community to me in whole new ways that I never knew about. The students I've worked with are smart and driven and I think the relationships I've cultivated through volunteering are by far the best part. Uh, since working with adults in literacy, I've seen how impactful adult education is and just how important and extensive the need is. And I'm just really proud to be even a small part of that. So thank you. Congratulations, Jennifer. <clears throat> You're an inspiration to all of our tutors and our volunteers. The Outstanding Paraprofessional nominations are current member of the IAACE and must be working in the field of adult education. They have a minimum of two years of experience in staff support positions. This individual goes above and beyond the call of duty <clears throat> more often than not. This nominee, over, this nominee over delivers and consistently meets expectations of the team they support. Presenting this award is Christy Kessner with MSD of Warren, Town, Adult, Warren Township Adult Education. Christy, you have the mic. I do. <laughs> Good morning. The uh, the award winner for the Outstanding Paraprofessional, I'm very pleased to announce, is our own Maria Lopez Gutierrez. Warren Township is very blessed to have a gem like Maria Lopez. She is an incredible asset to our program. Maria is the first face that many of our students see, and we believe her encouraging words help them feel confident about entering into a program they may have put off for many years. Our teachers and staff also look forward to Maria's encouraging words and willingness to jump in and do anything necessary to ensure that students and staff are successful in their endeavors. Maria is able to multitask and always gives 100%. She does this enthusiastically and with genuine warmth and kindness no matter how busy she is. Students and staff know that they can count on Maria for encouragement and comfort. Many students stop at her desk when they go on break just to get a daily dose of her encouraging words. We hear her say all the time, you got this. This has now become her motto. She has a thousand watt smile and incredibly kind heart. Students really miss her if she can't be at work for any reason. Maria is like a counselor to both our ELL and our ABE students. She listens, gives advice, and tries to help them solve any issues they may have. All of our staff are happy to be able to work with such an awesome individual, and many of us are proud to call her their friend as well. We are so proud for her to be named as the Outstanding Paraprofessional for Indiana this year. Congratulations, Maria. <clears throat> May your encouraging words always serve your team and learners well. 
The outstanding new adult, the outstanding new adult educator nominees are currently members of IAACE and are working in the field of adult education. They have a minimum of one year experience and not more than four years experience in adult education. This educator <clears throat> outperforms on a daily basis for their adult learners. They surpass, they surpass, they surpass the expectations of their administrator. They respect their adult learners and their adult learners respect them. They create a sense of community in their classroom, enthusiastic and caring. They set, high expect, they set high expectations of their adult learners and have their own love of learning. They have a great leadership skills. They are flexible and they collaborate with colleagues and maintain professionalism. They are natural at the teaching thing. Presenting this award is Mike, Michael Tomlinson from Oakland City University at the Newcastle Correctional Facility. Hello, uh, can you hear me? Yes, Mike, we can. At least I can. Uh, hello from Newcastle Correctional. I apologize that we don't have uh, camera capabilities here, but we are here participating. Um, I'm very uh, proud to be able to present the new Adult Educator Award to Courtney Lytle. She not only started working in adult education in late 2018, uh, but also in corrections. Corrections is not for everyone, uh, but she has been great in uh, teaching the men that are here at the facility. Our school has about 220 adult male students and uh, Courtney teaches two classes of 20 daily. Uh, the majority of the men tape test around fourth and seventh grade level. But one of the most impressive things about Courtney is the class was set up that I thought that the students would be promoted to the task level uh, teachers, but uh, Courtney works with them in so much detail that several of her students actually qualify to take the task test without ever being promoted. Uh, she's well prepared for her classes. She has great rapport with both the students and her coworkers. Uh, Courtney is a single mom and she does keep a good balance between her family life and her work life. She also enjoys doing craft projects. Uh, the entire OCU team here at Newcastle uh, facility are very proud and happy to work alongside Courtney. Uh, Courtney is very deserving of this award. I do congratulate her. And now Courtney, if you would like to say anything. Uh, thank you so much. I'd like to extend my gratitude for Mr. Tomlinson for being here today and his commitment in ensuring the outstanding educational services we have here and for feeling that I am deserving of this nomination. I'm also very appreciative and want to give thanks to my fellow co-workers. They have made this entire process of becoming an adult educator slightly less anxiety provoking than it could have been, but also very enjoyable and an educational experience. Coming from public education and teaching children to a prison system with adult men has definitely been an adjustment, but I can say wholeheartedly that has been the best decision of my life. I truly feel that I have found my niche in the education world. Receiving this award has been honoring and humbling. I am humbled because there are simply so many outstanding, passionate, creative educators out there who challenge and inspire and support their students every day. I have to admit that I feel rather inadequate, but I'm also so honored to be among you. Thank you very much. Congratulations, Courtney, and thank you for supporting the education program and learners in, in inventive ways. Wishing you and many more successes in your career. The Outstanding Adult edu <coughs> Educator Award qualifications are being a current member of IAACE and working in the field of adult education. They have a minimum of five years experience as an adult educator. The educator outperforms on a daily basis for their adult learners. They surpass the expectations of their administrator. They respect their learners and their learners respect them. They create a sense of community in the classroom, enthusiastic and caring. They set high expectations of their adult learners and have their own love of learning. They have great leadership skills. They have the ability to shift gears in and out of the classroom and they collaborate with colleagues and they maintain professionalism at all times. Being natural at this teaching thing is more than comfortable. Presenting this award is Laura Pastor from Washington Township Adult Education. 
Thank you, Ted. Good morning, everyone. It is my pleasure to announce Emily Ferber of Washington Township Adult Education as, <laughs> as the Outstanding Adult Educator of the Year. When I started in adult education in 2010, Emily Ferber was our Fast Track ABE teacher. Over the course of a few years, she proved herself as such an, <laughs> that picture is cracking me up. I can't believe we sent that, Emily. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm starting to laugh a little bit. Um, in 2010, Emily Ferber was our Fast Track ABE teacher. Over the course of a few years, she proved herself as such an invaluable part of the program that we asked her to be our lead teacher, which was the forerunner to the current professional development facilitator. What we realized as Emily took on this role was how incredibly important it was to have a master teacher leading in this role in our program. She has that rare ability to connect with her, with her students, teach at a very high level, but also support and act as a trainer to her peers. She has the respect of both her students and fellow teachers and a great sense of humor, as you can see. Her ability and understanding of adult education has been an asset to our program, our region, and to the state of Indiana. She served on a federal committee to review and introduce college and career readiness standards to the state of Indiana and worked as a statewide trainer in this capacity. Beyond her extensive subject matter expertise, Emily truly cares about each student who comes to her class. She sees her job as a responsibility to best serve every adult who comes to our program. Many times over the past several years, Washington Township has led or been close to the top of HSEs earned by students in a program. It is often the case that 20 to 25% of Washington Township's HSEs, which generally end up around 250 to 300, have been a result of Emily's class. She's amazing. It is with great pride and gratitude that I can announce that Emily Ferber is very deserving of being the outstanding Indiana Adult Educator of the Year. Would you like to come on camera, Emily? Yeah. Well, so much for trying to appear uh, respectable with that picture. So thanks, Todd, I guess. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just really appreciative of the support of leadership. Um, we've got the best teachers, the best staff, most eager students. Um, switching to adult education 10 years ago was the best decision I ever made. It's the greatest job in the entire world. And thank you so much. This is awesome. Congratulations, Emily, for setting an example and being an exemplary and compassionate teacher. The Outstanding Administrator Coordinator Award qualifications are that the nominee is a current member of IAACE and is currently working in the adult education field. The nominee must have at least one year of experience as an administrator, coordinator, or director. This nominee is an excellent administrator who is an <clears throat> instructional leader with strong ethics, a dynamic personality, and unyielding commitment to their adult learners and their team. In their pursuit of excellence, they are an excellent listener, adept to assessing and strengths and weaknesses of diversity of individuals, programs, and processes. <clears throat> They're committed to learning themselves, are self-aware, have superb communication skills. They are resourceful and a collaborator. They walk the walk and talk the talk and lead by example on a daily basis. Presenting this award is Beverly Dotti with John Hines Career Center. Hello, it is my pleasure to announce Holly Redman as the Outstanding Administrator of the Year. Holly is dedicate, a dedicated administrator of our program. Holly doesn't sit back and tell us what to do. She steps up, rolls up her sleeves, and works with us. She volunteers to advance to help our students and their families, like the annual coat drive and giveaway. Holly has kept our program running strong even through trying times. Holly supports her staff in work and if they need support personally. It has been my privilege to work under Polly for many years. I'd like to thank, thank everybody for um, this award. Um, adult Ed has been an amazing trip. Um, 
my staff is amazing. They, they really have made the success of this program. Um, I'd also like to thank my family because um, over the almost 30 years I've been in this business, they've put up with a lot of weird hours as all of you in adult ed education know. So um, thank you very much to everybody. Congratulations, Polly. We appreciate all your dedication to IAACE and to the classroom and students. <clears throat> the next award is the Teacher Credit Union Matoria Service Award. We are thankful for the collaboration and support of Teachers Credit Union, both as a conference sponsor and throughout the year. I'll turn it over to, <clears throat> I'll turn it over to tell us more about the award and announce the winner is a TCU service manager, branch manager, uh, Donna Daniel. Got busted. Ted, uh, it looks like Donna is having a little audio issues. There she goes. So give just give her a moment. <laughs> sure. Donna, you're still not uh, have audio. Donna, there was a number that you could call in um, with your phone to get that and just go ahead and give us a call and I'll admit you on that. Never fails that there are technical difficulties. <laughs> Technology, it's a wonderful thing. Thanks for everyone's patience. She's connected. Donna, you're still having trouble?
We interrupt this award show for technical difficulties. I am going to um, Donna, the meeting ID is 961-3569-1640 and the password is 062420. You should have received a phone number to call in with audio um, with that meeting ID or with that meeting invite. And so use the phone number that's on there and that meeting ID and that password. And Ted, what do you say we jump ahead and come back to her whenever she gets um, on? Sure. The next award is John R. Craddock Award. The purpose of this is to recognize those who have completed a lifetime of service to adult education in Indiana. The award is named for Dr. John R. Craddock, who was an early leader in adult education in Indiana. He served as the first editor of the Adult Educator <clears throat> Official Newsletter of Indiana Association for Adult Education and was instrumental in the merging of these two organizations into Indiana Association of Adult and Continuing Education, IAACE. In 1962, Dr. Cranock took a year's leave of absence from his position as assistant professor of education at Ball State University to establish a division of adult education in, in Indiana Department of Public Instruction, later named the Indiana Department of Education. This award honors Dr. Craddock's contributions to adult education in Indiana. I'm going to provide the honor of presenting this award to Jerry Hafner. Thank you very much and, and good morning all. Melinda McKinney, would you please join us on camera? Melinda McKinney has been in the driver's seat overseeing the high school equivalency testing program for more than four decades. She was just 18 years old when she landed her first and only job as the state's testing coordinator. Coming from Owen County and the family's farm in Freedom, Indiana. Recently, Melinda announced plans to retire from state government. Thousands of Hoosiers earned a high school credential under her watchful leadership, and she's been a mentor to countless test coordinators and examiners through the years. The high school testing program, as we all know, 
began in the early 1940s to provide GIs coming from coming home from World War II an opportunity to earn a high school credential. A graduate of Indiana Business College, Melinda has been on the front lines since the 1970s when she accepted a position at the then Indiana Department of Public Instruction. Because at that time, jobs were hard to come by, advisors told her to head north because you can always get a job in Indianapolis and then you can go to your hometown. But she never looked back. To make the daily journey to Indianapolis, her father, her dear father, purchased a new fully loaded with air conditioning 1973 blue Dodge Charger from my Terra Haute dealership for her to drive daily to and from Indianapolis. Now he used four cows as collateral to seal the deal at the Owen State, uh, uh, the Owen County State Bank. And yes, I did say four cows. Melinda wasn't sure what she signed up for when she first arrived, but she was happy to be employed boasting of her first paycheck of $98 for two weeks work. $98 for two weeks work. I thought I was living high, Melinda recalled. Through the years, the testing program under her leadership has evolved from a paper exam to largely online with results available within a few hours rather than weeks. Gone are the days when Melinda and a colleague would print and mail individually each high school equivalency diploma. Today, an outside vendor handles that task. That task. Later, the Department of Public Instruction would be renamed the Indiana Department of Education and the Adult Education Office, which houses the testing program, was moved to the Department of Workforce Development 10 years ago. In the early 70s, when Melinda arrived on the scene, the high school equivalency test was just $5, $5, plus $2 for examinees to receive a copy of their diploma. And today the test is obviously far more rigorous, aligned to the college and career readiness standards, and, and costs a little bit more than $5. Today it is $95 across our state. The pace has eased a bit with the onset of technology, but back in 2002, when a vendor was publishing a new test and rumors were it would be more difficult, the program tested 23,000 Hoosiers in a matter of months. That year, more than 12,000 individuals passed and Melinda recalled barely having time to catch her breath. Today, typically about 5,200 Hoosiers receive an HSC and the success rate has climbed. Indiana is ranked nationally, third nationally in the number of high school equivalencies behind California and Florida. As we know today, the high school equivalency is a springboard to further education and training, improved employment, and a better life, and a better life. While she is hesitant to take credit for the success of the program, Melinda is pleased to see how accommodative testing evolved through the years to provide more opportunities for individuals with disabilities to be successful. I hate to mention this word, COVID-19. COVID-19 has also provided new challenges to testing, as we all know. And Melinda said to me, it's, it's just amazing to see the flexibility of our test vendors. In retirement, Melinda and her husband, Ralph, planned to stay busy visiting family and friends in freedom. Perhaps an occasional trip 
to Florida. In addition to children and grandchildren, Melinda's mother is 91 years old and is still living on the family's farm. Time just flies by, she said. I will definitely miss everyone. And Melinda, there's a reason why we skipped you during the retirement acknowledgements. I am very, very pleased and honored to announce that in addition to your retirement, you are the 2020 recipient of the Dr. John R. Craddock Award for Lifetime Service to Adult Education in Indiana. And on behalf of IAACE, its members, the Department of Workforce Development, Maryland, the State Adult Education Team, and former directors of adult education like Linda Warner, who is watching this ceremony today. May we be, may we be the first to offer our deepest congratulations and appreciation for your dedicated service. And I, I would like to just very quickly show you, this is, we didn't forget your retirement. Here is your retirement award. And this is the John R. Craddock Award. And I want to say this, this is one heavy award. I may need some help getting it out of the car uh, who delivered it uh, to your, your front doorstep. So congratulations. And would you like to say a few words, Melinda? Yes, Jerry, I would. Thank you so much for all your kind words. Hello, everyone. And thank you for attending this recognition ceremony. Where has the time gone? Uh, 46 years has just simply flown by. My first day on this job with adult education was July 1st, 1974. I was so very young and ready to learn. Eager to work in the big city. Why, in fact, I had not even heard of adult education. Believe me, it did not take long for me to get my feet wet. <laughs> From time to time, you come across people that say, Gosh, I hate my job. I hate going to work. I can honestly say I never said that in my 46 years with adult education. IAACE, thank you so much for this award. I am absolutely thrilled beyond imagination. It has truly been an honor and a privilege to serve the adult education program. Assisting adult education providers, testing centers, and our students has been very rewarding for me over the years. I have had the privilege to work with some wonderful and dedicated people. They are way too numerous to mention for fear of leaving someone out. I have made what I consider to be lifelong friendships. Thank you for all of your support. And also thanks to my family for all the support they have shown during my career. And now, a new beginning for me. I am so glad to be retiring, but I will miss all the wonderful people 
I've had the opportunity to work with. Thank you for everything. I shall miss you all. Thank you. Congratulations, Melinda, and we want to thank you for your lifetime of service to adult education in Indiana. Thank you. Ted, I think we are ready to go back to the TCU award. Okay. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. On behalf of TCU, I'm proud to announce this year's 2020 Meritorious Service Award goes to Deborah Sherwood of Plymouth Adult Basic Education. Please join me on camera, Deborah. Each year, Teachers Credit Union recognizes a member of the Indiana Association of Adult and Continuing Education who has made major contributions to IAACE and its membership, providing direct and extraordinary support that fosters adult learning. Each of the IAACE board members nominates a potential recipient of the Meritorious Service, Service Award. The board submits the nomination to TCU's leadership team to make the award selection. As contributions by many people advance the IAACE cause, all the worthy nominees made this decision this year, as usual, very difficult. In the words of her nominator, she keeps us informed, serving the communications committee, sharing success stories, as well as tools and resources with members across the state. She also has served on the nomination and election committee for the past two years, devoting tireless hours to making calls and sending emails to ensure that your board of directors ballot features candidates with the dedication and leadership needed to help IAACE thrive. This past year, as part of her work on the conference committee, she stepped up to take over the acquisition of sponsors and vendors, securing over $10,000 in sponsorship. <clears throat> Excuse me. As a member of the advocacy committee, she has spearheaded government outreach efforts, generating support for IAACE's mission among elected officials. All of these efforts have advanced, nurtured, and promoted IAACE increasing awareness of the mission and generating resources to extend the benefits of adult education to more Hoosiers. I am honored to present this award, you can see the award, um, to Deborah for this accomplishment and uh, ask her if she would like to say something. Hello, did you hear me? Hi, um, I am just totally surprised. I was not expecting this at all. Um, uh, I, I definitely would say, you know, thank you so much. I was not expecting this. Um, I'm very fortunate to love my job and to be blessed to meet the great people in my area um, that I live in. Um, and thank you. I'm, I'm lost for words, believe it or not. Well, congratulations, Deb. We thank greatly you. appreciate your service. We greatly appreciate your service to IAACE, and thank you for always stepping up to serve. Well, it's greatly appreciated. The Outstanding Adult Learner of the Year Award does not have to be a member of IAACE but ideally should be in the program for at least one year. The outstanding adult learner has a good study habits and organizational skills. Nominees have changed their lives with education. They are an inspiration to you and others. I'll hand over the honor of presenting this award to Laura Ellsbrook, Area 30 Adult Education Program.
Ted, it appears that they are not on. Uh, I am searching for her and cannot find her. Laura Ellsbrock. Is there anyone on from area 30? Ted, it looks like it's up to you. Adult learner. The outstanding adult learner winner is Michael McCammick. We would like to, even though Michael may not be on here, we would still like to congratulate him and we wish him continued success in everything that he does. This was our last award. Let's give a round of applause with the reaction button to all the 2020 award, IAACE award winners. The bar for the future winners has been lifted because of each of you. Jen will now facilitate bringing all the winners on the screen for photos or screenshots. We welcome everyone to stay on as long as we are, as long as we are to grab your own screenshot. And please do stay muted and your video off. And thank you again for participating in today's new virtual IAACE awards. Uh, Jen, take it away. Thank you, Ted. Let's bring them up in order of presentation. Jeremy and Jessica Wagler, can you guys come back up on camera? After that, we'll bring up Jennifer Anderson with Indie Reads. I apologize, Jeremy and Jessica had to leave for another meeting. No worries. I'm sure that you got a picture of them since they were there. Would you mind please to send that to me? I will. Awesome. Thank you so much. Jennifer Anderson with Indie Reads, would you please come back on camera? And Ted, I'm going to stop your video. <laughs> Are you okay with the picture today, Jennifer? Yes. All right, you act so excited. <laughs> did they did they let you know, or were you surprised today? They did let me know. Oh, that was courteous of them, right? Yes, I would have been much more nervous at a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. All right. I gotcha. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you again. Next up will be Maria Lopez. And just while I am waiting on her to come up, please remember that the nominators have the awards and they will be presenting the awards to others or uh, to their winners, and therefore you, uh, whenever that happens, we uh, hope that you guys will also take pictures and send them to us so that we can have more pictures for our website. Yes, yeah, so adjust that camera, Maria. I was not expecting it. I would have brushed my hair. Oh, <laughs> you like a moment to brush your hair. <laughs> it's fine. I think, I think you look fabulous. Thank you. All right, are you ready? I'm ready. Smile and look at the camera. Awesome. That looks great. Thank you. Next up will be Courtney. I know, oh, you're not available on the camera, but we do have a, a, a wonderful picture of you that Michael sent presenting. I just remembered. Apologize for that. And Emily Ferber, can you come back on camera? Hi. I bet you want a different picture uh, than the I mean, one that was just played, right? I have a dream picture from, from this year. You know, when they included that in the award, and I like thought for a half a second, should I not put this in there? But then I thought, no, that oh, is perfect. <laughs> <laughs> if you didn't, uh, you know, you wouldn't have gotten your picture taken with it if you wouldn't have wanted it shown, right? All right. Are you ready? 
I'm ready. Okay. <laughs> All right, I got it. Thank you. Thank you. Polly Redman, will you come back on camera? Congratulations, Polly. Thank oh, you. Oh, look, you're lucky enough to have that award. You must not have been they, surprised. They got it to me yesterday, I think. That was awful sweet of them. It was. All right. Are you ready? Uh-huh. All right. All right. I got it. Okay. If anybody else wants a picture, they're more than welcome to grab it as well while I move on to the next person. I'm making sure I'm saving each with names. Not that I'm going to forget, but the computer needs to know. Deb, would you come back on camera? Hi, Deb. Congratulations. Oh, my gosh. You guys just totally surprised me. I am so glad that we surprised you. I not this at all. I feel very honored. Yes. Well, the good news is that TCU, thank you to Teachers Credit Union, went ahead and mailed your award directly to you. So it should arrive in your, um, or at your home there today or tomorrow, Friday at the absolute latest. So Nice. That really is nice. All right. Are you ready? I am ready. Smile and look at the camera. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you. All right. Melinda McKinney, will you please come back on? Thank you, Melinda. Congratulations. Thank you. Did Thank they you surprise so you? Nobody ever really told me, but Jerry just kept dropping this. Now, you know, you're going to be required to say something. I said, no, Jerry, retirees usually don't speak. <laughs> <laughs> well, he was very adamant that he did not want your name at the beginning because he wanted to really throw you off. So you might owe him a little bit on that one. Yeah, yeah I'll remember <laughs> that, Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, smile and look at the camera. Awesome, that is a beautiful picture. Beautiful, hey. Melinda. <laughs> Thank you, Nancy. <laughs> I will invite everybody to unmute themselves at this time and offer their congratulations. Congratulations, everybody. Congratulations, everybody. Congratulations to everyone. Hey. You are welcome to come back on camera as well if you'd like. Due to the fact that I don't have everyone, um, all the award winners uh, on the Zoom, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the Zoom shots and the shots that we got and I'm going to make a combination so that everybody can be included in that. So congratulations to each and every one of you. You certainly have raised the standards for the 2021 awards. I would also like to invite uh, each of you, each of you winners will be invited to present with the, at the 2021 awards. So what that would mean is, as Paula, you're at the top of my screen, you'll be welcome to come on straight a stage and present the 2021 Outstanding Administrator Award. Oh, that's um, cool. Melinda, I know you're retired, but if you'd like to come back to the 2021 conference, you would do the same for the Craddock Award. Oh, thank you. Deb Sherwood, you would be up there with the TCU people to present the Teachers 
uh, Credit Union Meritorious Service Award, Emily as well. So congratulations to everyone. Thank you, everyone. If anyone has any final comments or any final congratulations, well, look at Jeff Clutter with the beard. I didn't even recognize him down there. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Must congratulations, have... everybody. Yeah, nominators, if you want to come back on. And if anybody has any particular picture or screenshots request, I can certainly do that. I know a lot of you are in separate rooms. So if you are, if you want a screenshot, we can certainly facilitate that as well. I'm not sure if we were, it says we were live on Facebook the entire time but each time I tried to go find it, I couldn't find it. And I know there were some people that had some issues, but there is good news that it has been recorded. So we will offer the recording and the PowerPoint presentation. We'll put that on social media and there'll be, a, uh, it'll go out on our website today as well. Thank you. Ted, are you going to come back on camera? He, he's like, I am so done. <laughs> to a meeting. Ted had to go to a meeting. Oh, he had to go to a meeting. Okay. That is the uh, crazy thing about the uh, Zooms is they can certainly schedule no time in between now, right? Because all you got to do is pop from one screen to another. <laughs> No more five no minutes in between time. meetings. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, how about we give everyone a round of applause then? Go ahead. You can unmute yourself. Okay. Keep doing that. I'm going to I'm gonna um, stop my video really quick and everyone applaud. I'm going to grab a screenshot of everybody applauding. <laughs> Put those hands up. Awesome. Thank you. Anybody else want any other? Pictures? No? Would anybody like to say anything? Any other final words? Jerry, you're just itching, I can tell. <laughs> no? <laughs> you better watch your back whenever you deliver that award. <laughs> I'm, 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm in trouble. <laughs> we had several people that got booted in and out, apparently, and so Cynthia is coming back on. <laughs> so don't want to leave her, leave her out. There was a lot of congratulations and everything in chat it was really nice to see all of that i was doing a few things at once so <laughs> i was not able to read them as they were going we will save those as well if any winners would like all of those chats congratulations to read as well well if nobody has any additional requests for screenshots then congratulations again to all the winners and we'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.